and it is one of the most powerful tools you can give yourself. If you got a pen and paper, I would actually write this down. It's called Acknowledgements. And I actually want you to write it a particular way. It's called, with the sentence, today I acknowledge myself for. Today I acknowledge myself for. And I want you to acknowledge any time you take a stretch, risk, or die. Any time that you take a stretch, risk, or die. Just for simplicity's sake, think of a bullseye. And in the middle of the bullseye is your comfort zone, right? And for the sake of the conversation right now, your comfort zone is your life right now. However great it is, however bad it is. Where you're doing fantastic and being fearless in whatever area that is, and where you're being a little fearful in other areas, right? It's whatever your life is right now as you walked into this room. That's your comfort zone. And then the first circle around your comfort zone is the stretch zone. Now that stretch zone is the area of your life, things in your life that you know you could do, but you just don't do. You know you do it, you know you could do it, you just don't do it. So we all know we could probably walk around the block unless we have health issues, right? But do we walk around as much as we know we could? Probably not for most of us, right? Or at times in our life, right? So sometimes we do it, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we do it, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we drink our water, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we eat vegetables, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we give up sugar, sometimes we don't, right? And we go up and we go down and we go up and we go down. So stretches, things you know you could do, but you just don't do. The next circle, your risk zone. Those are things you don't know if you can do. You do not know if you can do them or not. You're not sure. And then outside the risk zone is what I call the die zone. The things that you think you will die if you do. So this is how it goes down. If you want to shift any area of your life, if you want to change any area of your life, if you just start working the stretch, risk, and die model as well as doing the acknowledgements, and I'm going to give you an example in just a minute, life becomes a lot easier. Anybody want more self-confidence? I know I do. I want more self-confidence. Anybody want, like, more self-worth and be able to receive better, right? This whole table doesn't want more self-worth? Okay, you do. How many people want self-worth, more self-worth, right? How many people want more, like, I'm amazing, I'm amazing? <laughs> How many people want to get better at receiving compliments? Well, thank you, yes. How many better? Because you know some of you suck at it, right? Right? How many people want more self-love? Like, think you are, you know, you what? You know, not like that worship, I love you so much, Rhonda Britton. I love you so much, Kim. But you know what? I think I'm pretty gosh darn cool. How many people would like to feel that way about themselves more, right? So think of an area of your life. I don't care if it's finances. I don't care if it's... Um, your hobby, I don't care if it's your intimate relationships, I don't care if it's an aspect of your business, maybe it's marketing, right? Maybe it's branding, maybe it's bookkeeping of your small business or large business or humongous business, right? Whatever area you want. Now you break down that area of your life into stretch, risks, and dies. So most of us go, I've got to create a marketing plan. And we say, we can do that, and we put it in the stretch category. But we never seem to get that gosh darn thing done. Anybody relate? Is there something that you haven't done that you've said you've done? Is there something that you keep saying you're going to do, but you never do it over the last year? I mean, it's November, people. OK? Something you said, I'm going to do it this year. Gosh darn it, this is the year I'm going to do it. Right? It's because what we do is we have this result we want, and we actually don't break it down to stretch, risk, and dies, and so it feels so big. And then we don't acknowledge ourselves along the way, so we're not building our self-confidence. Instead, we're noticing all the ways that it's not perfect, that it's not exactly the way we want, the result isn't exactly how we thought would, what we thought would happen, and so we're not satisfied. And then we wonder if it's worth it. Does this relate? Does anybody relate to what I'm saying? Yeah? So what I want you to do is I actually want you to choose an area of your life and then write down the stretches. What are stretches? Things you know you could do, you just haven't done. The risks about that area, things you don't know if you're going to be good at it. You don't know if you can do it. And what are the dies? So for instance, let's just use health because most of us either know somebody who has a health challenge or 
we ourselves are having a health challenge, but let's just use the good old weight since, what, over 50% of our, over 50, what, 60, 66% of us are overweight or obese, right? So it's something that we're all hearing all the time. So a stretch could be what? What could be a stretch? Something you know you could do, but you just haven't done. What do you think? Put down the fried chicken! Down the fried chicken. <laughs> Say no! Say no to fried foods, except the potato skins at TGIF. Those are really good, right? Those aren't really fried, are they? They're just like the cheese with the, okay. All right, put down the fried foods. What else? What are stretches, things you know you can do, you just haven't done? Exercise, but exercise is too big. What the heck is exercise? Even saying you're going to exercise is too big. Take a Zumba class. Things you know you could do, you just haven't done. Okay, what are some risks? Things you don't know if you could do. A marathon. Well, for most people, a marathon's a die. <laughs> I've, I've run the LA Marathon. And you know how they have the little signs all over? Run the LA Marathon. Join our team. Right? I probably saw that sign for, what, 5, 10, 15 years before I actually looked at it. And I thought to myself, could I do that? No. I couldn't do that. So I actually hired somebody who's like, a, you know, trains people for marathons, right? And um, he said, well, I'm just going to take you out running and see how far you can go. I'm just, you know, let's, I'm just going to take you out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You already know where this is going, right? She starts laughing. I haven't even said the story yet, right? She's like, <clears throat> right? So he's like, let's just go out. We're going to take you running. And I'm like, okay. And I start running. You know, I'm, I'm feeling good. It's the first block, you know, I'm good. And then it gets to be a couple more blocks, and he's talking to me the whole time, trying to distract me, right? And all of a sudden, I'm getting to the place where I cannot go one more. I, 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 I cannot run one more. I, I can't do it. So I turn to him and say, there is no way I can run one more moment. He goes, if you just get to the stop sign, it'll be a mile. I'm looking at him, I'm going, are you kidding me? We haven't even run a mile? Are you choking? I have been running for days! Right? Because if you haven't been running, it feels like days, right? Going three blocks, you feel like you've just run a marathon. You don't even know that is a marathon, right? So I'm running. He just goes, get to the stop sign. Now, I'm pretty competitive and ambitious. So I'm like, I'll make a mile. And I get to the stop sign. He goes, well, well you know what? I was miscalculated. If we could just get to the light. Yes, he does this to me, right? He does this to me. And he goes, if you just make it to the light, that's, that'll be a mile. Now, I am like this. <sighs> Talk about being willing to look stupid and ridiculous, right? I'm just going to make it. So I get to the light, and I'm like, <gasps> and he looks at me. I said, is that a mile? And he looks at me, congratulations, you just ran three miles. That's right. Give me applause, people. Come on. I know. I know. I just kept running. So that was the beginning. That was, I, that was, running three miles was a risk, even a die for me. The thought of running the marathon was a faraway dream. But I just had to start, right? We all know this. We just have to start. We've all heard it a hundred times, right? So this is where acknowledgments come in. Anytime you do a stretch risk or die, you must acknowledge yourself. Not how well you did it, not if you finished it, not if you got the result you wanted, but the fact that you just did it, period, end of story.